don't look too black. Could he get it? No, line? black. Get some. What line? Good evening. Good evening. Everybody uses that once in a lifetime, no. Earl. No, but. Okay. Go. We can start now. Good, Earl. Go ahead. You open it up oh. now. The tapes are rolling. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Hey, when he says good evening, we should do like this. <laughs> okay, Mark, I'm going, okay? Go ahead. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Maywood Park. And to you, <laughs> See? Hey, Mark, I'm ready. <laughs> Come He's on, ready. you guys. Now I'm He's ready. Waiting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Maywood Park. My name is Earl Williams. And Maywood Park is trying a little something different this year. We're trying to have a driver for every, every weekend. Every Saturday night, we plan to have a different driver. And with us tonight is Daryl Bussey, everybody's favorite. Daryl, welcome to Maywood Park show. Thank you very much, Earl. It's a pleasure being on your show. Thank you, sir. Tony? <laughs> Get them. Wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute. It's good that you did it. What am I, a fucking orphan? You didn't tell him who I was? <laughs> he goes right to Daryl? Huh? Okay, well, better yet, you open a show. No, you open a no, show. No, you open a show. No, you open a show, and then I'll take you by the acute key. key. Okay, okay. L let me know when. When? Hello again, everybody. Well, there's a break in the action. From now on, through the rest of the meet, we'll have a special attraction here on Saturday night, the Earl Williams segment, in which Earl Williams and I interview one of Maywood Park's top drivers. Earl's very pleased to have Mr. Daryl Bussey with us tonight. Earl? Daryl, welcome to Maywood Park's new show. Thank you, Earl. My pleasure. Daryl, we're going to try and do something different this year. We'd like the public to meet different drivers every Saturday night. And I know that a lot of people ask me a lot of things every time I'm down in the stands. And a lot of people ask me, what track drivers like to drive at? Which is the track that you would say you like to drive at? Well, I think it's lucky around Chicago, Earl. We got all, all, uh, all kinds of tracks. We got, of course, at Baywood and Sportsman's Park uh, most of the year. And then we got Hawthorne, of course, with the mile race track uh, for a couple of months at the beginning of the year, you know, during the winter. But I think that... Uh, you kind of got to gauge your racetrack on what kind of horses you're driving. Uh, I, I kind of like uh, Maywood. I have a lot of luck here at Maywood, and uh, and I think Hawthorne is probably an easier racetrack to drive at because you've got a little more room there, of course, and a uh, uh, long stretch if you've got horses that need uh, cover or stuff. And then, of course, Sportsman's Park's got a long stretch, too, and uh, the money's good over there, so... Uh, probably money-wise, I would probably like sportsmen during the summer, although it's a real tough meet. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of drivers make, a lot of drivers tells me that you on a mile track you can make a mistake and no one never know it. You can always recover and win or be second or third. You know, well, you can get lost and still come back. I don't know about that. I think the, the racing fan around Chicago is pretty sophisticated, and I think that if you make a mistake, uh, it doesn't. Although they can't see it quite as good as Hawthorne. Uh, if you make a mistake, uh, they're going to let you know about mm -hmm. it, whether you're on a half a mile track yeah. or mm -hmm. a mile track mm -hmm. or if you're a sportsman. Mm -hmm. Of course, sportsman in Maywood, mm -hmm. you goof up there and you're right in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. and you, uh, mm -hmm. they well, really here at Maywood Park, post position is so important from the rail out. And uh, I know you have an interesting answer for this question, Daryl, and that is, if you had a front runner, which post position at Maywood Park would you rather have, the one hole or even the three or four hole? Well, I think if I got a front runner that can get out of there real quick, I think that probably the uh, you know the inside post positions one through maybe four are the right. best for you, of course. And of course, a lot of horses you know are real quick at the gate, so it really doesn't make much difference if you got a. Mm -hmm. But really, the ideal post position, post position I think would probably be right around the three or the four hole because, because it of the angle. Good angle into the turn. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, you know, of course, if you have the rail, I mean, that's ideal. But then, if you get a horse that isn't quite as quick getting out of there, and he does race better on the front end, sometimes mm -hmm. you can get cut off going into that turn. So yeah, it's better off being in the middle. For people who are here at Maywood Park for the first time, uh, looking at our half-mile track compared to the other bigger race tracks, uh, uh, it's not front runners don't win all the time. That's not a rule here at Maywood Park, of course. Oh no, I think that. Uh, <laughs> I think about the worst position that I've ever been in, you know, is with the decent kind of worst is probably the two hole around the three quarter pole, especially right. if, if, if the race is real competitive. I mean, if there's seven or eight horses in the race that are right close because a lot of times you're trapped. Mm -hmm. the case in point last night with uh, a little horse General Thorpe I had in the uh, last race, he got trapped in the uh, uh, two hole and couldn't get out and really had a, you know, had a chance to win the race. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
a front runner here will do a lot better, of course. Yeah. As a general rule, and he will over Hawthorne or uh, Sportsman. Mm -hmm. Darrell, let me ask you one thing. What has happened in the last five or six years that make these horses go so fast? Well, I think it's a lot of things. It's a, to begin with, your racetracks are maintained so much better. I think your uh, training of your racehorse has changed a little bit. And I think the uh, drivers themselves have changed a little bit on their philosophy as far as driving. They're a little yeah. more aggressive. Mm -hmm. They're getting down to the fr on the front end a little bit faster mm -hmm. than what they used to do. And of course now you're getting more toward more catch drivers, I think, than people driving their own horses. Uh, and I think a catch driver is liable you know, to be a little bit more aggressive with a horse than a person that is driving his own. It's I mean, like it doesn't always happen that way, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, people are pulling a little quicker, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the pace of the race mm -hmm. is faster, is quickened up mm -hmm, on the front end of it. In other words, a guy today driving a horse today, he he drives them all out. Years ago, that guy used to save a well, horse. You get to the front and you get down a half around three mm -hmm, or four, mm -hmm. and then try right. to go. Okay. That happens occasionally mm -hmm. now, but not very often. Usually, the pace of the race, you know, is is quicker to on the front end. Mm -hmm. oh, Earl, I know you wanted to close it out. Well, Daryl. I know you are going to be in the Hall of Fame any day now. I, if I had anything to do with it, it would be tomorrow. But show sure, racing fans, this is a Hall of Fame here if it ever was one. Daryl, congratulations, and hope to see you soon in the Hall of Fame. Buddy. Well, thank you very much, Earl. My mm -hmm. pleasure. Earl Williams and I will be back next Saturday night with another top driver here from Maywood Park. Thanks for your time. Windows remain open. Thank you, and now back to the races. <laughs> Look at <laughs>